there guys, my name is Curtis Shadogs, the one bought built for theme park news and today we've hit it, we've done it, <laughs> big applause to all of you, we've hit 1,500 subscribers, that is unbelievable, thank you all so so much and today I just wanted to talk to you guys, just, just tell you guys you know about how we started and what I was feeling and stuff that you might not know. Uh, just to celebrate that milestone. But what I will say off the bat is the Q&A video is coming. Now whether now comment down below if you want the comment the Q&A question and answer video to be uh, live uh, tomorrow during the April seventh live stream. Tomorrow's live stream to raise money uh, for charities fighting the coronavirus pandemic or. Would you like the Q&A video to be in a separate video in a couple of weeks, like uh, originally planned? So we can just have a general chat during the live stream. Comment down below what you guys want, and I can do either option, whatever you guys prefer. Uh, so, let's talk about how we started this channel. So I had a you know few other channels uh, that are now deleted, uh, where we sort of tested the water. Uh, that was around the time that Wicker Man was being built, Steel Vengeance hadn't existed yet other different things, Construction 2018 and Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which then became Icon. It was very phone upload based, obviously like this, uh, but it was on my old phone, so it was very, um, very temporary, I guess. So I wanted to find a more permanent solution, and when I got the camcorder, that made all the difference, and Coast to Chal, the, the channel we now know and love, is born. Um, in November 2018, I upload the first video, um, you know, the skit type videos, the comedy type videos, uh, and I did do that on the original channel as well that was known as ATJC at the time when I shut that channel down and opened up the new one. Um, I did loads of different skits, like there was a El Toro versus El Toro sketch uh, between the two El Toro coasters, there was... Drayton Manor Haunted by the Ghost of G-Force, if you guys remember that one, um, before it got deleted. Uh, I'm, I may I may refilm them to show my acting quality. I am an actor, if you didn't know already. Uh, <laughs> I may, I may refilm them over the summer and I might upload them again. Again, comment down below if you want that, if you want me to refilm them and upload them again um, in the future. But, you know, this channel started with... Um, I believe it was the Dungeons, we were talking about the Alton Towers Dungeons, um, which was recently announced, we sort of did like a little skit about that, I, or I think, I, no, I think there was a video about Zadra before then, when we sort of learned about the new RMC coming to uh, Energylandia, uh, so, you know, it was, it was a good video to start on, but of course, over time, we continued doing some comedy sketch skit type videos but we did more permanent professional news updates and that's what we stuck to we've done uh, comedy things every now and then we've had a laugh every now and then but the main thing about the channel is it's been very professional very news based very journalism based um, we've done plenty of incredible things on this channel the milestones, you know, going from 100 subs to 200 to 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1100, 1200, 1300, 1400, and finally hitting today 1500 subscribers. Um, we've met some incredible people on this channel so far. Um, some of the Emmerdale cast. Uh, Morgs, we did an interview with him. Now, I, I know there was a lot of hate in the comments down below of that interview. It's like, why did you interview him? He's just a nice guy. And me, personally, I just love his content. I, I, I don't know what it is about it, but I think because it's so over the top and it's so enthusiastic, it kind of it raises your spirits. And I know people don't like his content or like him, but I thought he was a pretty neat guy. All his family are pretty uh, amazing people as well. Um, they're, they're just all amazing guys. They're all incredible. Morgs, his mum, his dad, his brother, the camera crew. They were all fantastic. And they were all... To be fair, we, I, I, this is a true story. Um, we did the interview. And then they sort of said to us after we finished the take, it was like, 
You've done that all in one take? I could never do that in one take. To get that feedback from someone, whether you like him or not, has got 10 million subscribers. So to get that kind of feedback was quite overwhelming and quite uplifting for me personally. It's the fact that they were surprised that I got that interview done in one take. Um... You know, and it was nice to, to see them again. Kane Dingle, now he is an amazing individual. He, see, I met him the first time a couple of years ago at the York Mace Hell Scream with uh, Charlotte Bellamy, who plays Laurel, uh, Mark Charn, who, who plays Marlon, who gave me the acting advice that has spurred me on off screen to do loads of acting stuff at the minute. So, big thank you to Mark Charn for that advice. Uh, and Eden, who plays Belle Dingle. I'm, I met all four of them. I met, I met Charlotte, who plays Laurel. I met her, you know, five minutes before we went into the whole experience, never mind during the experience. But I met all those four, uh, all of them together during the experience. And I had a great chat with Eden, great chat with Mark, who gave me the acting advice. Jeff was really nice. Charlotte was brilliant. Um... And then I didn't see the other three. Uh, I know uh, Eden liked my photo and uh, kept in touch on Instagram. Um, I haven't heard from her in a while, but um, she's busy doing other stuff. So uh, that's completely understandable. Uh, but I did see Kane Dingle again. Now, this was at York Mace Hell Scream last year in 2019. Uh, and he saw me. And I, I, and I said, because um, his real name's Jeff Hawley, I said, Jeff, you're all right. And he turned around and immediately he recognised my name and was like, Aaron, is that you? Good to see you again, mate. You know, that kind of recognition, it's kind of very exciting, isn't it? Um, we've done some incredible things on this channel. We've had other great interviews, other great experiences. Dolly Rose Campbell, from who plays Gemma in Coronation Street, that was a fantastic moment for me personally. Um, going to the York Dungeon and interviewing Ben, the marketing manager, not once, but twice. We had the second interview this year when we went to experience the War of the Roses show. If it's still going ahead in May, they've got a brand new show coming, but I don't know if that's going to get postponed or not. We'll have to sort of wait and see, but I think that's probably going to be the case, especially since we're in April now. Um... We've had other great experiences. We went to Alton Towers, Yorkshire Wildlife Park. We've been to, um, uh, even even before this channel, I've been to many different theme parks and attractions across the country. Um, Thorpe Park, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Drayton Manor, like Water Valley, Flamingo Land. Uh, and even, not even in this country sometimes, we've I've actually been to Disneyland Paris, of course, for those of you who know that in France as well. Uh, so that's my only sort of out of country experience that I've been to Disneyland Paris. But of course, once this whole virus is over, once we all get back to normal in a couple of years, you know, Europe and the outside world has been a dream trip for me, especially since I've got my passport sorted now. So I want to get out there as soon as, as soon as I can and we all can. Um, so we've done plenty of trips. We've met some incredible people on this channel. Uh, we had our first fan photo at Hell's Scream as well with a girl called Emily. Big shout out if you're watching this. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just been an incredible experience to be on the YouTube platform to bring you guys the latest news. I think the theme park newsroom pearl is from 2019, from last year. I think that's got something like 500 plus videos on there. We've done like over 500 news updates from last year alone. And I know, you know, this year's obviously not been as busy for obvious reasons. Uh, but it might not have as many news updates as last year. But obviously in years to come, we're going to have just as much uh, on there as possible. Um, we've done other fantastic videos as well. We've shouted out some incredible people. Um, the engineers at Polton's Park, the engineering team, uh, everyone at Polton's Park. We've shouted out theme parks and attractions. We've had Alton Tap, uh, and you know, behind the scenes, you know, I've been in contact with parks uh, for uh, you know reasons I can't disclose on here, but I have been discussing for parks. Nothing negative, by the way. It's all positive. I've been, I can't tell you what it is, but I have been discussing with parks. It's all been positive conversation. But I've been discussing with like people at like Alton Towers, Thought Park, Apple Pleasure Beach, uh, Poltons, Flamingo, Lightwater. I've been discussing with all of them. Um, and you know, it's it's just been an incredible journey to grow this channel and to grow the fan base and things like that. 
and to get loads of people supporting this channel and to get loads of people involved in this channel as well and you look at the past videos we've done interacting with you lot and you guys have been so supportive and interactive sending things in uh, staying up to date with everything keeping up to date sending things in to, for me to react to sending um, your Alton Towers map designs and your comments and your questions you know, it's been very interactive, this channel, so far, and let's keep that going. Um, so, yeah, that's really all I can say, really. Um, obviously, I can't really tell you how I became a, a enthusiast or a YouTuber or whatever, because, obviously, that's all going to be... I, I believe that was one of the questions asked for the Q&A, so... Uh, whether that's tomorrow or in, or in a couple of weeks, as planned, uh, keep sending in your questions in the comments down below. I've put the word out on Instagram now. Keep sending your questions in on there now as well. I will do the same for every day for the next couple of weeks if we don't do it tomorrow. Uh, so you can keep sending in your questions for there. I might actually do the Q&A video on the live stream if you guys want. And then do another one and put the word out again for more questions on a separate video in a couple of weeks. So I may do two Q&As to celebrate this milestone. But let's keep this channel going. Let's get up to... You know, we're on the road now to 2,000 subscribers. So... You know, every 500 subs we do a Q&A video and I'll do videos like this as well where I sort of tell you guys how supportive you've been, how interactive you've been, um, all the things that we've done uh, and just just talk really, just talk and entertain because that is what we're, well, that's what we're here to do as creators, you know, you know, people like me and I know a lot of other people as well. We don't do YouTube for the money, we don't do it for the fame, we don't do it for the fortune. That's just a bonus. That's just a bonus for saying well done. The reason we do this is because we love to do it. Whatever we do with YouTube, whether it's gaming, fashion, beauty, uh, film reviews, book reviews, train reviews. I've seen like train YouTube channels. I've seen... I've seen coin collecting YouTube channels. I've seen every YouTube channel under the sun. So I know when someone's got a passion, they share it. They absolutely share it to the best of their ability. And that's what we do here. That's what I do on here. I share my passion for theme parks with you guys. And you guys love to see that. Now, when I first started this channel, I thought, oh, in a couple of years, I'll end up with, what, 500 subs? In... About a year and a half nearly, we've got 1,500. Clearly I'm doing something right. Clearly. Um, and that's all down to you guys. This is me in a natural environment, naturally telling you the latest news from uh, theme parks and attractions across the world. This is me just being me. And you guys love me being me. So, big thank you to every single person that subscribed watched a video on this channel, liked a video, commented on a video, um, just everyone, thank you so, so much for the support. Let's stay on the road to 2,000 subscribers now, let's keep going through it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this little video, just to say well done to you guys for bringing me the support that you think I deserve. So, thank you guys so, so much. Please like this video if you've loved this little message. Please comment down below. Please subscribe. Let's get on the road to 2000 now. Let's click the notification bell as well so you never miss YouTube video. And for now, guys, thank you again for 1,500 subscribers. We're on the hashtag road to 2K now. Um, and let's just keep going, guys. Thank you very much. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.